Good morning. So this is Paul Michael from So What and Get Wet, and we're the ones making the masks. Uh, I wanted to show this video because my mom's actually never seen the shop, so this is the easiest way for hi. <laughs> uh, easiest way for her to see it is we're gonna do a YouTube video. So as you can see right here on the outside, I got my little pickup window, and then there's information for people to take a look at. Wow, walking backwards, I never did that before. So anyway, here we are in the shop. Uh, I got these machines I had to move over here that are uh, of less importance than the ones that I um, use for making the masks. They do the same job, it's just different. It's a really small room, it's like a 200 square foot, which really worked out well. And when I went to go like expand, um, it made more sense to actually just rent a second space. I could retain my, you know, my, here's our cutting table. I stopped and got groceries, a little shout out to Folger's Produce on Oakland Park Boulevard. I love those people. I've been buying my produce from them for years. And see, that's the whole shop. And then I even use this corner here with a little changing room. But we don't take people in here anymore. Everything is through the pickup window. We, uh, this is just a sanitized space for us. But this is what sold me about the whole property was that as you come out here, you're in this gorgeous orchid garden. So, you know, this is my daily view. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's easy for to, to forget how horrible things are right now. You know, if you can just kind of hide in this, in this botany it's, it's really a lovely space. The, uh, the owners, the original owner, she was a member of the National Orchid Society, and most of these are her personal collection. She's no longer with us. Uh, and so this I created on the other side. It's exactly the opposite. I took you the long way so you can see everything. But the, I created this originally as a boutique for women. And I had a seamstress at the time, uh, but it just never took off the business but I had space for seamstresses and that I've always had. So we, we hi. hi, this is loose. So we created this space here. As you can see, <laughs> and I moved all the machines. The women have, I'm trying to or focus here, there we go. Plenty of space because the other girl, she works on the other wall completely so that there's plenty of separation between the two. I have a lot of cover stitch machines. This has nothing to do with masks, but this is one of my pride and joys. And see this funky thing? This is a buttonhole machine. It's crazy. Oops. Where's the camera? Yeah, and it cuts it too. Crazy. Uh, so we originally had an area for uh, people to uh, stand when you know when ladies are getting their dresses fit, and we made this uh, from our friend Arthur's bed. Uh, but now a friend of mine gave me fifty bolts of this amazing upholstery fabric, and uh, I have it everywhere. I have it some at home too. It's just you know. You just don't throw out fabric, you know, especially in my business. And then some girl stopped at my door and um, needed money and she sold me a machine for 50 bucks. Uh, and this is a, an original Marrow uh, pearl stitcher. This company is still in business. It's an American company. It's made in America. If you Google them, it's really interesting. M-E-R-R-O-W. Um, amazing machine. It makes a pearl stitch, which is like a, a ruffle. What I'm gonna use it for is to make tablecloths for my personal use. And for, I'm sure I'll sell it. And that's what I'll do with most of that upholstery fabric, I imagine, or I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be anything because we can create anything here. During all this happening, I was like, what can we do? What can we do? And I started creating the mask and I went through many, many, many different styles and shapes that I thought would be A, comfortable, B, effective, C, sanitizable, washable. You know, all these things, there's so many factors. And the, the, as my swimsuits did, 
so will the mass. They will change over time. And uh, so thank you for listening. And um, our last look, I have to get back to work. Have a great day, people. Stay safe and peace out.